Now, I'm going to give you a couple of poems from my brother Fred. He wrote quite a few poems, but I'm afraid he's no longer with us, and this is a former tribute to him. He served three or four years in Malaysia, Singapore, around that area. And he saw people killed. He worked with the Gurkhas and he saw people killed. And he, he although he was a medic, he, uh, he wrote this poem about a pal that had passed away. Coming home. I'm coming home to memories known in my waking years. I'm coming home to faces stained and wet with tears. I'm coming home to rest, at last my task fulfilled. For me the battle's over, silence is the field. I'm coming home to those I've known in the bosom of the fold, released from the torment of many tales untold. I've given up the struggle, no more need to fight. The poppy fields that once ran red are now a blaze of white. I'm home now where a soldier's son should be. I see a new land hove in sight, my spirit forever free. And this one is called the Elus Elusive Peace. Elusive Peace. Very short, but it says it all. Beneath the grey moss covered stones, as far as the eye can see, lay men that died in the name of peace so others could be free. Yet still on many battlefields men fall like gentle rain, to find that peace they fought for, in death where they lay slain. Words have a hollow ring, where talking never cease. Perhaps beneath moss covered stones hides that elusive peace. Now one last poem of Fred's. He was giving up smoking, or trying to, and this is what he wrote. The Blue Haze Blues. I just don't know how I manage. My nerves are jangly raw. Minty shoes to calm my blues as I pace around the floor. They're craving something awful. Can't find a stubbed out end. I'm losing control and it's taking its toll on those near and dear and my friends. Breakfast, dinner and tea always rounded off with a fag. Consuming more food is doing no good. My waistline is beginning to sag. I'm becoming a boring person. Every no one knows the score. When I say I really don't need that horrible weed, they smile. They've heard it all before. I sometimes think it's madness, giving up a pleasure is sad, puffing away at 40 a day, not knowing the problems I'd have. Oh, I'm helped when I feel like, oh, it helped when I felt uptight, like a crutch it kept me upright, and when things were on top, and they did quite a lot, I only had to reach for a light. Millions have given up smoking, they smile like the cat at the cream. But all the time, though feeling fine, I do miss my fix of nicotine. Thank you, Fred.